In this video, we will be going over configuration of a Modbus TCP IP to Modbus Serial Gateway. Let's get started. With the gateway plugged into a switch on the local network, we'll open the ProSoft Configuration Builder software. We'll then click on Default Module and select Choose Module Type. We'll select the PLX30 from the product line filter and then from the drop down menu, we'll choose MBTCP MBS. Now we're going to go ahead and expand the tree and right click on the Ethernet configuration. Go down to Configure and here we're going to change the IP address of the module that we're going to download to. So I'm just going to change this to 10.1.2.250 and I'm going to also change the gateway to 10.1.2.1 and we'll just click OK and we'll go up to the module name right click on it and we'll go to download from PC to device and once this is done we're going to select browse devices and this will launch our ProSoft discovery service um, here we can right click on the module and go ahead and configure the IP address to the actual module so we can download via Ethernet and I'll just change it to 10.1.250 as well and once we're done here we just click OK and close that out. Now we'll go ahead and download to the destination address which is 10.1.250. Now we're going to configure the Modbus TCP Client 0. First we'll right click on the Modbus TCP Client 0 and click Configure. And the only thing we're really going to change here is the retry count. We're going to change it to 0 and we're going to go over the MBAP override. What this function does is it changes it from an MBAP message to an encapsulated Modbus message. Um, if you have any other questions you can read about this more in the manual. Next we'll click on MBTCP client zero commands. We'll click add a row and then edit that row. We'll enable the command and we'll change the internal address to read from read to address 3000. Um, we're going to change the register count. We're going to go ahead and read 10 registers and we're going to the destination IP address that we're going to read from is going to be 10.1.2.154 um, slave ID we'll leave that as 1 uh, function code 3 read holding registers and we're going to read from the address of 21 in the target device click OK, click OK, and that's it for that command. With that done, we have completed the configuration for the MBTCP. Now we can move on to configuring the MBS. We'll right click on uh, Modbus port 1 and click configure. First option is enabled. We're going to choose yes. And here's the RS interface. Uh, we're going to choose RS485 for this application. The type is going to be a master, and protocol is going to be RTU. Uh, baud rate, we're going to be 9600. Parity, none. Data bits, 8. Stop bits is going to be 1. Um, response timeout, we can leave that at 1000. That seems appropriate. Retry count, we'll just knock this down to 0. If we're going to be missing a command, there's no sense in retrying it. It'll just grab it again on the next queue. Here's some uh, delays if you need to add them. And now we'll just click OK. Next, we'll go in and configure the port 1 commands. And this is where we're going to actually build a command for this port 1. So we'll click Add a Row and then Edit that row. First one is going to be um, continuous because we want this command to just continue to pull. Um, internal database, we're going to choose 3000. Um, we'll leave the poll interval at 0. Register count, we're going to go ahead and grab 10 words. Swap code, we'll just leave this at no change. Node address will be 4. And here's all the function codes. And we're just going to choose function code 16. And the Modbus address and device, this is going to be the address in the device that we're looking at. And that address is 201. We're just going to click OK, and this will complete adding a command to Modbus port 1. 
Now that we have successfully configured a read command from a Modbus TCP IP device and a write command to a Modbus serial device, we can download to the module. Right click on the module's name and choose download from PC to device. And that will conclude another edition of ProSoft Training. Happy training!